Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the review you've all not been waiting for, Spiderhead, uh, a Netflix movie which caught my eye the other day, and I thought, hey, I tell you what, I'm going to watch this the moment it releases, and I did, and here's my review of it. This is Chris Hemsworth in the lead role in a surprisingly good Netflix film. I know, they do happen. Sometimes, they just pump out so much crap that the good stuff kind of falls by the wayside, but this was actually surprisingly good, uh, and... In fairness, it's mainly due to its runtime. The story is good, but Netflix films suffer from really poor or lack thereof editing. So this runs about an hour, 15 minutes, where normally Netflix stuff runs two hours plus. And anything sub two hours on Netflix tends to have a better editing team behind it. This was pretty decent as a result of the time span. It was pretty decent. A lot of Netflix films can you know, be chopped down to their editing not being particularly great. But anyway, I digress. This film, surprisingly good. Spiderhead, Chris Hemsworth, Miles Teller, uh, Jenny Smollett-Bell. She's in it as well. Relatively large cast of good names. Not massive names, but good names. Like Miles Teller, he was a, was a massive up-and-comer in Hollywood for a while. He's sort of coming back again now. He was recently in Top Gun Maverick. Uh, Chris Hemsworth, I mean, he can pick basically any role he wants he is a good actor now and i guess he's considered a list he, he's a he's a pretty big name draw and he was very good in this he was great in this actually as was miles teller who someone I, you know i don't uh, i'm not enamored with him as an actor but he's pretty decent now, this is a film which you would have seen the trailer for where they're like, drip on, acknowledge. It's all about drugs. So, it's not drug drugs, but it's all about, you know, pharmaceutical um, compounds being tested on criminals. And just the journey through that is just batshit mental. Some of it was very funny. Some of it was, like, what are you doing? That's, don't do that. And some of it was sad. It runs the whole gamut of emotions. Now, because it's a Netflix film, I can't show any of it. Because Netflix just clamps down on the copyright of their stuff. I can't even show a trailer. Netflix, like, you you would have seen Netflix trailers. I can't react to them. I can't review them. Because Netflix hates you talking about their products and showing their products. So I can only review it as is. Which is a bit frustrating. But nonetheless is what it is this film was very very good really surprisingly well shot unfortunately and I, I'll, I'll say this because there'll be people like me that have it if you have a sony bravia tv or any tv like that you you might want to sort the dolby vision out because your tv will just keep changing color love it when it does that just love it and it happens on netflix shows love it this show was very well done. The set pieces were very good. The music was great. They had actual score as well as, you know, an original soundtrack. You know, music coming in from the outside, you know, actual songs uh, for the soundtrack. It was a very, very good film. Like, Chris Hemsworth did a great job in this. He looked like he was having so much fun. The dialogue is quick. It's very quick. Now, like, you know, I'm praising this film a lot, but, like, make no mistake, this isn't an Oscar winner. This is a good Saturday night flick, you know? Flicking through, got a beer in your hand, got some food. Ah, oh, put this on. This would have been good in theatres, would have attracted a reasonable amount of people, would have made some good money in a theatre as well. But it's not a film anyone's going to be screaming from the rooftops about. It's a good, solid film but it's not a film person's film. Does that make any sense at all? So, yeah, Chris Hemsworth does a fantastic job in this role as the lead researcher uh, in... This is non-spoilers, you know, of this sort of pharmaceutical company. I can't talk about anything else. Uh, and he's just having a great time. The set pieces and the props that they use were, were pretty decent, like, for the most part. They have this sort of, you know, this the, the chemical drug compounds are put in little glass ampules uh, and, and injected into your back by some unit. That was really well made. The fact that it ties to your phone was really smart because of the stuff which, you know, further happens in, in the film. 
Uh, and it was just it was just really well made. It was just a tight little film. Just a genuinely tight little film. The effects were pretty decent. There was one or two explosive moments, shall we say. And elements surrounding that where they had to flick from CG to live action. And some of that was done really well. Like... There's no, there's nothing glaring about this film that I've got to say is really bad. It was a generally good film. Could you see the twists and turns along the way? Yeah, of course. But, you know, a, a Saturday night flick film, you can see those coming along the way. This film wouldn't have been any better for us not seeing the twists and turns coming. It wouldn't have improved the viewing experience at all. So the fact that you can see the twist and it's a little bit predictable is actually part of its charm. Miles Teller, really decent, actually. Really, really decent. Um, Journey, Small A Bell, again, whatever her name is. I never know how to say Journey. Is it, is it Journey? It looks French, especially the Small A Bell. Do I say Smollett? Journey Small A. I don't know. But anyway, she was very good as well. My little Sunday ran there. Uh, she was very, very good. Uh, there's a moment in which she breaks down and gets very emotional. That was great. The whole setup and framing you would have seen in the trailer for testing grounds, observing grounds. That whole set piece between the two of them, nice. Like, actually really nicely done. The camera's set up and the equipment all surrounding it and how we view it and the framing of the shots very good and that's actually one of the main positives of this film was the cinematography work it was actually really competently shot nicely shot dare i even say it for a netflix film it was actually it, it was really well shot this film's very good like it's a very good film but it is what it is and it is a saturday night flick film so when I'm saying it's a very good film, it's within those boundaries, those confines. Can I recommend this film? 100%. Absolutely 100%. It is non-offensive. It works. It's funny. It just works. Uh, and you know what? <laughs> There's no message at all. There's none of that. So if you're looking for a film, and that's what a Saturday Night Flick film is. There's no message. There's no grand meaning behind it. Just a good, wholesome film that you're going to watch and enjoy and have a good time. So I can recommend this. I would recommend it. If you have seen it, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop them down below. But as it stands, thanks so much, ladies and gents. You have a great Sunday. Take care. Also, ladies and gentlemen, consider checking out my Teespring store. Supporting the channel via this way does go a long way but also not only that you do get to wear some awesome merch these are one-of-a-kind designs designed for me by my graphic designer we of course have our clown world line which is uh, in mugs hoodies t-shirts we've got space jeebus uh, and then for something a little bit different we of course have right down at the bottom right here we have our pulsar gtir also, ladies and gentlemen, consider checking out and supporting my second channel, which is Car Nonsense. This is a vlog and car channel. You can find links to this in the description box along with my Teespring. Please do consider supporting.